Hello guys, how are you? Today we're going to change the cartridge of the Audio-Technica LP120X USB with the Audio-Technica ATF2. So the differences are that this cartridge has a moving magnet while this is a moving coil. At the ATF2 the construction is based on aluminum with a plastic and the frequencies are 40 kilohertz versus 20 kilohertz. If you want to improve your sound guys from your uh, original cartridge you must change it because you know these are quite cheap cartridges but I got to say that this uh, VM95E it's a good cartridge. I listened to this cartridge a couple of days and uh, I got to say it's quite good. And the differences, guys, in a turntable are the cartridges. The cartridges will make the difference in your sound. Of course, if you don't have an uh, amplifier, a special amplifier for the turn turntable, um, well, this amplifier inside, this phono amplifier, it's good, it's good, but they can be better. I didn't hear this uh, new cartridge, but I think the difference between these two of them will be huge. I made two recordings of uh, two separate vinyl discs and uh, after we'll mount uh, this cartridge, we will remake uh, the recordings and see the difference. So let's begin, guys. First of all, see on the internet the cartridge head shell adjustment page. This is a page you will find it on uh, Google. Google it around and uh, print this page and uh, print it exactly like it's in the PDF. I mean that the dimension here and here use a special tool to see if from uh, let me show you from this center dot to this a lines to be perfect like it says here 60.325 do not have bigger values than this one 58 millimeters or 62 millimeters are not okay the values must be as close as 60.325 so the next thing just cut this hole perfectly cut it with a cutter with a, i don't know use a tool to cut it and we'll insert it to the wrong this turn now guys put a tape on uh, this side where the needle will be and if you see this tiny dot here the needle have to be exactly in that tiny dot and basically the lines must be with the cartridge perfect parallel and perpendicular. This is how you can guide your cartridge to be exactly on the lines, not to have an angle, to be perfectly parallel with the lines or perpendicular in the front. As the unboxing guys, <laughs> there is not much an unboxing. Another thing, do not throw this uh, instruction manuals because it will tell you the weight, the weight is important. In the back we have the screws and here is the box guys i think it's looking very premium it's got a, some kind of leather here to show you it's a quite expensive cartridge the turntable lose the head shell and now guys use the protector and put the protector i think we're good to go but first i want to show you here what nicely what nicely looks at F2. This screw, the right one, as you look, it's forward, then it's a little bit forward than this one. This one has 4.4 millimeters push forward, and this one has only 4 millimeters. So the idea is the cartridge must be somewhere a little bit orientated in that direction, in the left direction, as you look. If you see the colors on uh, the back of the cartridges, the wires are not the same. So you got to respect the colors. It's that simple. Put the wires exactly to the corresponding color. Struggling to focus in guys because we have 1.8. Now we take out that old cartridge. And now let's see. First we will go with the red. Pushed. And got to push it right quite good one it's good we have the white I will put the base first and really push it to sense the end now 
I round it one time for the wires not to be extended to be exactly on this uh, on uh, the base to be flattened here to stay here and not loosen up so we got two types of screws small ones but we don't need it now guys look how awesome it looks this uh, new silver and the uh, audio technica logo and let's see let's put the cartridge and make the calibration according to this paper from audio technica let's see now let's take out the protective uh, cover now guys put the needle exactly on this point so guys is uh, very difficult to film from this position and from this angle you got to see the cartridge and you got to align it with the left and the right lines i don't know if it stay is not staying with just a second it's you got to stay right on that now it's okay it's aligned with that dot the left of the cartridge and in the right of the cartridge the lines must be perfectly parallel so i stay an hour and a half to align it and from this angle from this base you will see that plastic that bottom of the cartridge that one must be aligned you can you will see from this angle best to align your cartridge so i think this is the best position to align it and not to go up to a professional and uh, uh, pay money for these operations but because this operation is very delicate so then take to step b the other lines and see if it's perfectly aligned and then if you'll see the lines parallel with your cartridge you are good to go so this is the operation and now you can tight up the screws because you don't need to tight 100 percent the screws you got to release them just enough to uh, make your adjustments with the cartridge guys the calibration is a delicate process you have to take out first the plastic protector and to leave the arm floating you got to uh, have an even floating and the counterweight first go at the counterweight and put it to the max this is very delicate because it's a needle right underneath and if you are touching this fabric you can break the needle so you got to make this operation best it's best to put on a paper or something this way you can know that you're not breaking that needle so let's look for the floating position a good float of the arm yes i believe it's good and now put to the zero position the dial so now we have the manufacturer tell us between 1.8 grams and 2.2 and the perfect match is 2.0 so we got to put here just rotate and now after we put to the two two grams and the anti-skating must be exactly at two grams and now the arm is perfectly calibrated it will pressure it will press your vinyls with the two grams exactly like the manufacturer asked us to make the settings and if you did this procedure right it's well calibrated you don't need a special tool to to see if it's calibrated you got to trust me it's very good calibrated so guys if you like this video thumbs up and don't forget that subscribe button and the notification bells have a pleasant day guys see you bye